learn all 15 pronouns. Singular pronouns describing one person, dual pronouns describing two people, plural pronouns describing three or more people. Learn to ask questions of who. Intro to pronouns. Pronouns are the foundation of the language. We use pronouns to differentiate who we are talking about. Some pronouns share the same prefixes. This you will learn more about later. Content. In these slides to follow, you will learn 15 pronouns. They have been divided into three sections, singular, dual, and plural. They have been written in their original form and have their meanings as well. They also have been written phonetically to show how the word should sound. Singular pronouns. The first column shows the pronoun in Oneida and the pronoun in English. The next chart shows the word spelled correctly in Oneida and the word phonetically, how it should sound. Ni'i meaning me or I, ni'i, ize, meaning you, ize, laulha, meaning he or him, laulha, agalha, meaning her or she, agalha, alha, meaning it. This it is a living thing. It can be a plant or an animal. Sometimes it can be used to describe a female. Dual pronouns describing two people. The first column is the pronoun in Oneida. And the second column is the pronoun in English. The first one, deadnias, meaning me and you, deadnias. This includes the person you are speaking to. Deagnias, me and someone, deagnias. This does not include the person you are speaking to. Desnias, meaning you two, or you and someone. Desnias. This does not include me. Dehnias, meaning two males, or a male and a female. Dehnias. This is used in the sense of talking about two people. Degnias, meaning two females. Degnias. This is also used in the same sense of talking about two people. This chart shows the correct spelling of the word and the phonetic spelling of the word. So the first column is the correct spelling in Oneida. The second column is the phonetically spelled version of the word, how it should sound. So the first word, deadnias, deadnias, deagnias, deagnias, desnias, desnias. Dehnias, Dehnias, and the last one, Degnias, Degnias. Plural pronouns describing three or more people. The first column is the pronoun in Oneida, the second column is the meaning of the pronoun in English. The first word, duagweg, me, you, and someone. Duagweg. This includes the person you are talking to. Yugwagweg, 
me and them. Yug wug wag. This does not include the person you are talking to. Swagweg, meaning you all. Swagweg, this does not include me. Ludigweg, a group of males or males and females. Ludigweg, this term would be used if there was one male or female in a group of all males or females. This term would also be used if you were talking about them to someone. Gundigweg, a group of females. Gundigweg. This word is also used in the sense of talking about a group of females to someone. This chart shows the correct spelling of the word and the phonetically spelled word. The first word, duagweg, duagweg. Second word, yagwagweg, yagwagweg. Third word, swagweg, swagweg. Fourth word, ladigweg, ladigweg. And the last word, gundigweg, gundigweg. Create questions of who using the word unkanate with the pronouns. So unkanate means who. Unkanate meaning who. This word is colored orange because it is a particle slash joiner word. By placing the word unkanate in front of these words, we can create questions of who. So for example, we have in the first column, the question in Oneida, and then the second column with the English meaning. So, question one, unka nate ni'i. Second question, unka nate is. Who are you? Third question, unka nate laul ha. Who is he? Fourth question, unka nate agal ha. Who is she? And the fifth question. Unkanate alha. Who is it? So this chart shows the questions spelled correctly in Oneida and then the phonetically spelled version of the word. How it should sound. I will read these again. So question one. Unkanate ni'i. Unka nate ni'i. Question two. Unka nate is. Unka nate is. Third question. Unka nate laul ha. Unka nate laul ha. Fourth question. Unka nate agal ha. Unka nate agal ha. And the fifth question. Unka nate alha. Unka nate alha. Some dialogue. Question Unka nate ni e. Who am I? Answer Their name. This is the person you are speaking to. Ize or Is. So, example. Unka nate ni e. Who am I? Mina is. You are Mina. Question two. Unka nate is. Who are you? Answer. Your name ni e. Example. Unka nate is. Who are you? Mary ni e. I am Mary. This is a hypothetical person. The words ni e and ize are the answers to each other. Question. Unka nate laul ha. Who is he? Answer. His name laul ha. The word is used to talk about the person to someone. For example, if I asked unka nate laul ha, who is he? 
The response would be Charlie Lel Hop. He is Charlie. Question. Unka Narte Agalha. Who is she? Answer. Her name Agalha. This word is also used to talk about the person to someone. For example, if I asked Unka Narte Agalha, who is she? The response would be Mary Agalha. She is Mary. The names used in these slides are hypothetical. Question. Unka Narte Alha. Who is it? Answer. Its name Alha. For example, Spider Alha. It's spider. It's the name of my plant. Or Gives Me Alha. Gives Me is its name. Gives Me is also my dog's name. Creating questions with the dual pronouns. So in the first column, we have the question in Oneida. The second column shows the English meaning. First question. Unka nate dead nias. Who are me and you? This includes the person you are talking to. Unka nate dead nias. Second question. Unka nate de agnias. Who are me and someone? This is the answer to desnias. Unka nate de agnias. Third question. Unka nate desnias. Who are you to? This is the answer to de agnias. Unka nate desnias. Question four. Unka nate Dehnias. Who are two males or a male and a female? Unka nate dehnias. Fifth question. Unka nate degnias. Who are two females? Unka nate degnias. These are the questions spelled correctly in Oneida and the phonetically spelled version of the word how it should sound. So question one, unka nate dednias, unka nate dednias. Second question, unka nate deagnias, unka nate deagnias. Third question, unka nate desnias, unka nate desnias. Fourth question, unka nate dehnias, unka nate dehnias. Fifth question, unka nate degnias, unka nate degnias. This is dialogue showing the duels. So question, unka nate degnias, who are me and you? Answer, nii kale is degnias, me and you me and you. So, ni'i, um, kale'is, those can be replaced with the names. Question two, unka nate de agnias, who are me and someone? Answer, ize kale, the name of the person, desnias. So, you and someone, you two. Question three, unka nate desnias, who are you to? Answer, nii kalit, the name of the person, de agnias, me and someone, me and someone. Question four, unka nate desnias, who are two males or a male and a female? Answer, the names, Dehnias, names of two people, um, either two males or a male and a female, and Dehnias. Fifth question, Unka nate Dehnias, who are two females? Question, their names, Dehnias, so names of two females, two females. Creating questions with the plural pronouns. 
Unkanate Duwagweg, who are me, you, and someone. This includes the person you are speaking to. Unkanate Duwagweg. Second question. Unkanate Yagwagweg, who are me and them. This does not include the person you are speaking to. Unkanate Yagwagweg. Question three. Unkanate Swagweg, who are you and them. This does not include me. Um, swagweg is the answer to yugwagweg. And yugwagweg is the answer to swagweg. Fourth question. Unkanate ladigweg. Who are those males or males and females? Unkanate ladigweg. Unka nate gundigweg. Who are those females? Unka nate gundigweg. This chart shows the questions spelled correctly in Oneida and then the phonetically spelled version of the word, how it should sound. Question one Unka nate dowagweg. Unka nate dowagweg. Second question Unka nate. Yagwagweg. Unkanate Yagwagweg. Third question. Unkanate Swagweg. Unkanate Swagweg. Fourth question. Unkanate Ladigweg. Unkanate Ladigweg. The fifth question. Unkanate Gundigweg. Unkanate Gundigweg. This dialogue shows the plurals as questions. So this shows some dialogue here. Um, this question can have multiple answers. So don't get overwhelmed. This is just a look at the different ways you can answer this question. So question, Unka nate dwagweg, who are me, you, and someone? Answer, nii kale ize kale laul ha dwagweg. Me, you, and him, me, you, and him. Um, I know that it is very repetitive um just know that with using ease and laul ha you could actually use names instead of those pronouns there um your second answer or or ni'i kale desnias dwagweg. Question. Unkanate yagwagweg. Who are me and them? Answer. Ize kale laul ha kale laul ha swagweg. Or. Ize kale laul ha kale agal ha swagweg. Or. Ize kale agal ha kale agal ha swagweg. Explanation. So these words will flip when asked a question and answered. They are the answers to each other. Yagwagweg, me, you, and someone equals swagweg, you all. Uh, swagweg, you all equals yugwagweg, me, you, and someone. Questions can also be answered with dual pronouns and singular pronouns combined. For example, looking at the previous question, unkanate yugwagweg, who are me and them? If we looked at answer one, ize kale laul ha kale laul ha swagweg, you could also answer the question like this. Ize kale dehnias swagweg. Or 
Ize Kale Degnias Swagweg. Question Unka Nate Swagweg. Who are you all? Answer Nee Kale Laul Ha Kale Laul Ha Yagwagweg. Or Nee Kale Laul Ha Kale Agal Ha Yagwagweg. Or Nee Kale Agal Ha Kale Agal Ha Yagwagweg. So again, these words will flip when asked a question and answered. They are the answers to each other. So Yagwagweg equals Swagweg. Swagweg equals Yagwagweg. Again, questions can also be answered with dual pronouns and singular pronouns combined. For example, looking at the previous question, Unkanate Swagweg, who are you all? If we looked at answer one, Ni'i kale laul ha kale laul ha yagwagweg. You could also answer it like this. Ni'i kale dehnias yagwagweg. Or ni'i kale degnias yagwagweg. Question. Unka nate ladigweg. Who are the group of men? Or who are those males and females? So answer. Laul ha kale laul ha kale laul ha ladigweg. Or laul ha kale laul ha kale agal ha ladigweg. Or laul ha kale agal ha kale agal ha ladigweg. Again, questions can be also be answered with dual pronouns and singular pronouns combined. For example, looking at the previous question, unka nate ladigweg, who are the group of men or who are those males and females? If we looked at answer one, laul ha kale laul ha kale laul ha ladigweg, um, you can also answer it like this, laul ha kale dehnias ladigweg, or laul ha kale degnias ladigweg. Question. Unkanate gundigweg. Who are the group of women? Answer. Agal ha kale agal ha kale agal ha gundigweg. Or agal ha kale degnias gundigweg. A review of the 15 pronouns learned in this slide we have ni'i meaning me or i ize meaning you laul ha meaning he or him agal ha meaning her or she al ha meaning it a living it dednias me and you deagnias me and someone Desnias, you too. Dehnias, two males or a male and a female. Degnias, two females. Dwagweg, me, you, and someone. Yagwagweg, me and them. Swagweg, you all. Ladigweg, those males or males and females. Gundigweg, those females. The bolded words um, on this chart show that they are the answers to each other. These are visuals of the pronouns used in this slide. So we have nei, ize, laulha, agalha. We have the singular pronouns and then we have the singulars combined to create these dual pronouns. This chart shows the duals and the plural pronouns and it is a continuation of the previous chart.